Alright guys. Lord, it is a dark, gray, rainy, cold, depressing yuck. Winter evening here in the end times and doomsday trailer. It is now a Sunday evening, February 18th, 2024. Something like that. So I am uh been working on building a bathroom vanity today, so just diving into the to the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag. Then uh, I'll come back in my next rant and we'll dive into the Collapse Chronicles mailbag. But we're going to start with the uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag. I always enjoy uh, one of the reasons that I keep doing these broken record alien abduction uh, <laughs> videos is because I do like to hear the, the various comments from uh, people on all ends of the spectrum on the subject of alien abduction. And uh, for someone, uh, say, who has uh, experienced at least one aspect of this uh, phenomenon for one third of his life, uh, I feel like I have a little bit more to say about it than the average person who has no clue, uh, has never experienced any of this. So I feel like I'm a little more qualified to speak on the subject, but I do love hearing from the people, uh, I guess on some levels are more qualified than I am, and then of course the uh, clueless moron, closed-minded trolls. So we're just going to, let's start out, uh, <laughs> this is Rat Generation X. Humans are foolish. Anyone telling where UFOs come from or not coming from are people who know nothing at all. Secondly, if you were in a UFO, when unconscious, you would not remember it. So, to say you have never been in one is to say you have never been unconscious. Your species is ignorance guiding the ignorant. How do you survive? How you survive this long is beyond me. <laughs> uh, certainly beyond me, my comment to Rat Generation X. You sound just like the guy in Resident Alien on Netflix, which is a very, I'm actually enjoying it. It really is funny if you haven't checked out Resident Alien on Netflix. Okay, what does, I can't even read this idiot's name. Okay, Delusion by any other name is still a delusion, no matter which one you are having. More clonopin. So, uh, you know, I guess I never really looked up the definition of delusion. All right. A delusion is a belief or an altered reality. A belief or altered reality that is persistently held despite evidence or agreement to the contrary, generally a reference to a mental disorder. So uh, since they're using or instead of and or and or, you could read this sentence, a delusion is an altered reality that is persistently held despite agreement to the contrary. So by that definition of delusion, I am delusional and I am proud of it uh, that I have had these alternate reality experiences, which is exactly what DMT will give you is an alternate reality experience 
uh, that I hold despite agreement to the contrary. And uh, you know, th this whole thing about delusion uh, being a, uh, uh, a belief persistently held despite evidence. We're going to go to that side of the ledger instead of an altered reality that is held despite agreement to the contrary. Another definition you could read this is a belief that is persistently held despite evidence. Um, or in, in, in a lot of cases lack of evidence uh, would be a better way of, of saying it. And this is this whole thing about religion, about religion, how, uh, how I, I, I find it so comical that anybody uh, s uh, subscribing to the Bible, the Koran, the Torah, I any of these organized religions. So I, I guess, I I you know, believing uh, in, in a, you know, in some sort of g giant, fat, white, male sky god, this big fucking judgmental narcissist, kind of like, imagine Donald Trump with a gray beard uh, somewhere in the sky uh, making the planet in six days and making uh, humans basically in Donald Trump's uh, you know, likeness in his image and then making women out of a rib and then he sits up there in the sky that he is so fascinated by your puny little worthless life that he is looking at you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, judging you to decide whether you are moral enough, uh, you, you know, to spend eternity in the land of milk and honey. That is not considered a delusion because there are so many people accepting the belief with no evidence to support it that that is not considered a delusion and you could and you could pick out all the same for the, 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 the day for Islam and the Jews and any one of these crazy bat I mean obviously batshit crazy delusional horseshit and uh, place it next to uh, what, what I am claiming happened to me and, and, and who is the delusional, uh, clueless fucking moron here. It, it, you know, I, I just wonder how many of these people uh, deriding uh, people wanting to uh, have a serious discussion about the phenomenon of alien abduction and similar phenomenon. Uh, you know, read the goddamn Bible or, or the fucking Quran and instead of throwing it in a goddamn fire, uh, bonfire of the vanities where that shit belongs. So I am proudly delusional. I proudly uh, hold an altered reality uh, despite agreement to the contrary. And I actually have a lot of sympathy for people who are not delusional by that. Uh, Elliot Ness I would never trust a man who has a chihuahua, a floral, a floral couch, and is a pill popper. Never, ever, never. I mean, never. Uh, <laughs> so my res response to Elliot Ness, since I will assume you would also include women in that, in that description, you just covered about 99% of the planet 
particularly when you lump pill popper into the mix. I pop one clonopin per week, or at least I will until my three-month supply, aka 12 pills, runs out. By the way, I got them from someone whose doctor pre prescribes them three pills per day, so my three-month supply is a four-day supply according to the modern medical establishment. And Sancho Panza is a St. Croix maned snickerdoodle, not a fucking chihuahua. There you go. Now, good old James. So James does believe me. James, I believe you, dude. I'd love to hear all about it. Well, I've been talking about it for what now? And you guys are sick of hearing about it. I've been talking about it for 15 years. But I think he might be referring to uh, how I kicked the space alien's ass and how I brought my 22 years of alien abduction experience to a grinding halt in one night. And James, if you or anybody else, I posted the link to that video how anybody who is suffering uh, from this phenomenon, from this altered reality phenomenon, uh, interacting with interdimensional beings that you have no desire to interact with, there is a way to put an end to it in one night. And if you go on and to that link in that video and look at how I kicked a space alien's ass, I will explain it to you. All right, well, we're going to end up uh, with Charlie Gnarly. Uh, let's go on. I think the dog is an alien. There you go. Uh, all right, we're going to hear from my buddy Fat Boy. My buddy Fat Boy, uh, we've had him on talking about his own crazy experiences with, uh, I don't know, was that an interdimensional being or what? Anyway, Fat Boy says, what you experienced is fairly common. And uh, my response to Fat Boy It is a hell of a lot more common than 99% of the folks who have never experienced it realize or care to hear about as it threatens their eggshell thin fragile egos so tied up in their narrow vision of reality. If it did not happen to me, it did not happen to you is apparently their deeply analytical and, a, and logical explanation of it. Now, as far as what I experienced when I learned how to put an immediate end to the phenomenon in my own life is a different story. My guess is that a tiny fraction of us, quote, experiencers have the slightest clue how to do that. As far as I know, not one person out of the several thousand listening to my video of how to do it have done it, or at least nobody has sent me a thank you note. But we're going to close out with Charlie Gnarly. Charlie Gnarly. Uh, okay. Charlie Gnarly says, Experiencer contacted here. Triangle tetrahedron burn marks on left arms, wrist, and lower back. If you know, you know. Triangles, triangles are the dead giveaway. I 
by the way, I never in my entire life ever had any sort of physical mark uh, on my body following one of these episodes. Never in my life had one second of missing time. Thankfully, my experience happened with a witness, as did many of mine, uh, on 2008 on a bridge somewhere in the New Mexico desert up north. If you know that bridge and that area, you won't be surprised. A group of them flew in very close and approached us meters away. They responded to my thoughts and every movement. It was the most profound thing I have ever witnessed. Light, just light, sentient plasmic lights, best I can describe them. They could read us like books. Wasn't the last time. That was the introduction but it's been a decade since I've seen them up close. I still get hints and subtle clues they are around, but nothing like that. <clears throat> you just cannot engage with those give me evidence people. Nothing will satisfy them. If they harass you, they should be mocked and shunned as they do to us. This is real. It doesn't require their belief or disbelief. They, meaning the disbelievers, are irrelevant. My comment to Charlie Gnarly. Charlie, well, since that never happened to me, obviously you are a delusional, mentally ill, paranoid schizophrenic whack job and should be locked up in a rubber room and forced to listen to Michael Shermer videos 12 hours per day until you recant your obviously fallacious testimony, which is a direct and dangerous assault on the dominant cultural paradigm and or to the billions who believe that a giant narcissistic sky god who made us naked apes in his image while using a rib to create women is watching our every move 24-7 and judging whether we are worthy enough to live in the land of milk and honey for eternity. Get with the program, dude! Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it, 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 you know, imagine uh, if, you know, us, quote, alien abductees or whatever you want to call us, God is triggered every time we drove past a church or a synagogue or a uh, whatever they call those, whatever, uh, a, a temple. But I, I imagine every time that, uh, th that any, quote, alien abductee with a fucking brain uh, who understands how every fucking uh, Christian, uh, Muslim, and Jew on this planet believing that unadulterated horseshit is a delusional, mentally ill whack job. Uh, imagine if we got as triggered uh, every time we were confronted with this mass delusion hysteria as these fuckers do uh, when we are describing uh, these events that happen to us. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it must be awful to be so triggered by shit. And uh, of course, I will be bringing the the dump the Trump the hive roundup uh, rant uh, tomorrow. 
and, 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 and I don't know why I am so triggered by, by fucking Donald Trump. I, I am triggered. What are my main triggers? Uh, Donald Trump and masks. Donald Trump and masks are my two biggest triggers that I just can't get over. But speaking of triggering, we're going to uh, shut the mail bag down here and we're going to head over to Collapse Chronicles. Speaking of, of triggered individuals where uh, I get in a debate with uh, someone from the Doomosphere that a lot of you probably know. Uh, much to Sandy's horror, I'm sure I am going to uh, get into a a friendly debate uh, with a someone who claims to be a doomer chick. But that will you will have to go over to the other channel to find that one coming right up. My guys. Do you believe that clueless fucking moron called you a chihuahua? Oh my gosh.